I've had a pretty busy week. I've been to Walmart three times and I got stuff to sell every single time. Let's go ahead and jump right on into it and see what all products I got this week. All right, so starting off, first product I got, I got more of these light bulbs. I saw, got them before. I got like nine or 10 of them before. I got three more because all of them sold on the first day that they were in stock on Amazon. They sold right away, so, and I actually went back and checked. Three is all they had. I was planning on buying them out and they're, I actually dropped the price from $5 down to $3 now, so I'm gonna make even more profit. So I paid about three bucks for these three um, each, $3 each, and now I'm gonna be making a profit of $10 each on all of them. All right, next thing I got, I got these pack of ping pong balls. I got two of them here. They were $10 a piece, and I'm gonna make about $6 a piece off of them. I believe that's my worst ROI on them. Out of all of them, still about 50%, so it isn't that bad. So I got two, paid 20 bucks total, I'm gonna be making prop, total profit of 12 bucks. Not bad. All right, next up, I got this TV antenna. I paid just under $4 for it, and I'm gonna end up profiting $13.50 for it. It's on clearance, just like pretty much everything else, so pretty good. All right, I also checked back in for the yarn that I had got because it was a pretty good deal, and the website still said they had some in stock, and I found two more rolls of the ARAN color 64 cents a piece and I'm, I believe the profit went down a little bit. I don't remember exactly what it was before because I sold out on the first day they were in stock, but I'm gonna be making $3 a piece off of both of these. My craziest ROI item comes in at a crazy 46,666.66% ROI. That's because I paid three cents for these Fallout PS3 games selling on Amazon. I'm gonna be making about $14 in profit off of each one and I got four, three cents a piece. You literally cannot beat that. It is crazy, that is awesome. Wish they had more, but I got all four. Got a couple more three cent video games. This thing, it's a Xbox 360 sniper game. They were three cents a piece again. And this time for both of these, I'm making $12 a piece on them. I got a couple more three cent video games. This time it's a Sims 3 for Xbox 360, old gen console. So they're three cents, still making five bucks a piece off of them off of off of eBay. All right, next up is Zelda Breath of the Wild for the Wii U. It's five bucks a piece. I got three of them. I make a profit of $20 a piece each. So that's pretty nice profit right there. Getting down to our last couple of items here. Next up is Yao Kai. I'm not real sure. It's a Nintendo 3DS game. Paid a dollar a piece for them. And I'm making $9 each off of them. So 18 bucks in total after spending $2. Not too bad. All right, last item that we got. I got Zelda for $5 for the 3DS. Spent $5 and profiting $5, not too bad. All right, so after all of that stuff that I bought this week, I spent a total of $56.52. The total profit that I'm making after shipping fees, every single expense that I have associated with them, packaging, everything like that, total profit is $234.50. That brings my ROI to a whopping 415% for the week. That is great, that is amazing. And that's just off of three trips to Walmart where I literally spent maybe 20, 30 minutes each time looking for products to sell. And all I did is I went and I hit the clearance sections for the different sections throughout the store. The main one that I have the best luck in is electronics. I go back there and not a lot of people seem to check at it because you kind of go to the TVs and you have to turn around. The clearance is right there. So I have the best luck there for my particular store. I found a bunch of really cheap video games and other things like that there where I've made a pretty decent amount of my money. It literally, there's three little sections right there. It takes me five minutes to look at it, see if there's anything worth, and go ahead and get it if there is. I've made quite a bit off of that. The other things that I have a big clearance aisle that I check there pretty much every single time I go. And then I also, there's a couple of random clearance sections throughout the store that I kind of briefly look at every time I go to see if there's anything new there. And if there is, I scan it, check it, see if it's profitable and buy it if it is, that's pretty much it. I don't spend a whole lot of time at Walmart, I only really go there when we're going there anyways for groceries, so not spending a whole lot of extra time there. And it's pretty nice, in a week I made $234 off of it. In the past week I've spent, I've sold over $500 worth of products on Amazon alone over just the past week, so about half of that probably is gonna be profit, so I profit about $250 a week in sales, so that's not too bad for me. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you check out my Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, pretty much everything's at Alex Sheets. I'll have a link here on the side and make sure you go ahead and give me a follow, leave a comment, leave a like, leave a comment. I'll get, make sure and get back to you. I'll answer it as quick as I can. Ask me anything you want, anything you want to know. If you have any concerns or any tips, go ahead and leave those too. So thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.